Hey everyone, I'm Ro Chef Yin, Ro Vegan Chef based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today I am trying out another recipe from the plant-based bundle which is only available right now for um, for 50 US dollars uh, and only available for 9 days. And um, I'm trying out a raw vegan shepherd's pie recipe which is by my friend Chris Kendall, also known as the Raw Advantage. And this is in his 21 day winter meal plan. I'm actually really excited because I have uh, his other three ebooks, which is the um, spring, summer, I don't know what he calls it, fall or autumn, I think autumn. Um, and now I have the winter one as well. And uh, I've been wanting to make a raw vegan shepherd's pie recipe for a very long time. Um, and so I'm very excited that uh, he actually has the recipe in his winter meal plan. So um, yeah, let me just try to figure this out. Okay. Let me just show you. I wanted to show you a little bit about his um, ebook that you'll get in the plant-based bundle. And then um, I'll just talk a little bit about what the plant-based bundle is. Just show you a bit. And then we go straight into the recipe. Hello, I'm Chor Yong. Nice to see you. Okay, so you know what? Let me, um, let me move this a bit. So yeah, so these are all the ingredients. And uh, wait, ingredients. Okay, hi Steve Ung. All right, let me see if I can do this because... Ooh, wait. <laughs> uh, rotate your phone, you can't turn your phone while recording. Hmm... Mm. Okay, so it should go this way, but it's not. Why is it not? All right, never mind. Um, okay, so this is his, um, this is his, ah, you see? I want to show you because they actually have a menu, right? Week two, there's the menu. And then after that, there's a shopping list as well. And that goes on for three weeks. And then after that, it's um he also ah this is what I wanted to show you, this is what's in the ebook. So welcome, what to expect, tools of the trade, you know read this, then week one menu shopping list, and then there's breakfast recipes, lunch recipes, and dinner recipes. So this is in the plant based bundle. You're wondering what the plant based bundle is? So let me, um let me get the, let me find the thing. Oh, hold on, yeah. Why is this... Sorry guys, I always have problem with this. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Rotate your phone. Okay, let me rotate my phone. <laughs> Alright, just give me a second or two to... Switch over to the plant-based bundle. Okay, so that's the plant-based bundle. If you're wondering what it is, it's 200 ebooks and programs, and it covers vegan recipes, fitness guides, personal development, there's meal plans, healthy living, and so much more. Only available for a limited time, so you can see it's actually nine days in one hour and 49 minutes. And it's a 99% discount because Right now, you only need to pay 50 US dollars. If not, you will have to pay like 8,800 US dollars. People love it. Everything's included. So I'm just going to scroll very fast. And yeah, everything, all these uh, ebooks, courses, online courses, guides, meal plans, fitness workouts, juicing, money making guides, you know. Um, Courses on how to do microgreens. Yeah, and it's uh, both cooked and raw. So if you're not raw, you can also... Um, this might be good for you, actually. Everything's plant-based. It's not... Um, so when they say plant-based, some of them use um, honey as well, just to let you know. But yeah, you can always substitute with coconut nectar, maple syrup. I want to show you this. So this is my Christmas Showstoppers course. Yeah, so... I am contributing uh, my online course, which is actually worth 70 US dollars. 
But now if you buy everything for 50 US dollars, you get this as well as all these other things as well. Yeah. So that's what the bundle is all about. It's a whole group of us getting together, collaborating and offering you something that is um, very good value. And this is like the biggest bundle I've ever been in. So don't miss out. And um, the other thing, oh, I need to flip that. A flip. So the other thing I wanted to let you know is, uh, oh, hello, Jill, nice to see you. Uh, hold on, try to see. And hello, Asama, nice to see you. And hello, Steve Ng. Okay, so the, the, the thing that I wanted to let you know is that um, um, use my unique link. We left it in the um, uh, comments below. Yeah, um, and then later when you're watching this replay on Instagram or Instagram, use the link in my bio. Uh, for YouTube, use the link in the description. Um, I am only, oh, sorry, I'm only. <laughs> Yeah, I only get paid um, if you when you buy the bundle if you use my link. So if you use you know any other contributors link, they get paid. So depending on who you want to support, if you like to support me, then um, use the link in my bio. If you want to support another contributor, you can use their link. Uh, but for those who are supporting me, I would like to send you extra goodies as well. So I have extra bonuses, you know, videos, PDF, Zoom call. So um, email me your order number so that I can share that with you. That's what I want to say. Okay, let's go straight to the recipe because I want to make this and then, ooh, I need to have breakfast as well. It's past my breakfast time. I should have eaten a banana before I came on, but I wasn't very hungry then. Uh, okay, e so I need to flip back. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Um, hold on, let me just look for the recipe in the 21. Okay, I got the recipe. Except that it's very small. Hold on. Okay, so I have tomatoes. The recipe actually asked for Roma tomatoes, but um, because I don't have Roma tomatoes, I am just using normal tomatoes. I have cauliflower. Um, I have celery. Uh, I asked for portobello mushrooms, but um, I couldn't get portobello mushrooms, so I'm just using the normal white button mushrooms. But actually, these grow into portobello mushrooms, right? Oh, I think the, the brown ones grow into portobello Sun-dried black olives. I don't have sun-dried olives, so I'm just using, like, you know, normal olives, and then I rinsed it so that hopefully as much of the oil and salt can go away. Sun-dried tomatoes. I dried my own tomatoes in the dehydrator, sliced them, dried them in the dehydrator. I'm not using green onions today. Um, it asked for half, half a lemon, but I'm lazy. So I'm using the lime juice, the pure lime juice that um, my blue tea sent me. Actually, you should use half a lemon, but you know, yeah. And then I have hemp seeds. I got this from uh, Dusun in Tamantun. Uh, they, they do it zero waste style, so you can check them out. And some walnuts. Okay, so what do we have to do? It says, finely chop. Uh, cauliflower, half a celery, half tomatoes. Okay, so I need to finely chop this. Yeah. And I'm just going to use my... I'm just going to use my Thermomix to do it. I don't know where you can see me using this or not. Maybe not, but anyway. Yeah, I thought I'll just make use of the Thermomix function. The others I've already chopped up. Okay, let's see if anybody has questions. Hello, Yusuf Alip. Okay, no other questions? Okay. I'll just chop, oh, we'll chop this. I'm gonna just use like speed. Finely chopped dice. 
Can you dice a cauliflower? All right. So this is what I have now, okay? Uh, and then place into a small square casserole dish. Okay, hold on. E, let's move this away. Small. I don't have a square casserole dish, but I do have this. So I'm gonna try putting that inside. You know what? Yeah, I'm wondering like how fine do I want it to be? I'm scraping it down. I think I want it to be like slightly more fine, I think. Oh baby, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my in the da <laughs> Alright, so let's do that. You like my singing? <laughs> Is everybody sleeping? Uh okay. So let's put it in. Yeah, I think it's more fine now. You're so fine. Finders keepers. Well, I hope it fits. I think it should. Well, I wish they would say like what the size of the casserole dish is. Yeah. Then, but then I don't have a square casserole dish anyway. Oh, do you guys have any questions about the bundle? If um, you have, please comment and I will try and answer them. Um, if you're wondering whether this is a scam, it's not. I've taken part in five other bundles before, but this one is like the largest, biggest bundle ever. Yeah, usually I can like, you know, I actually have time to go through all the bundle. Uh, yeah, the bundle ebooks and courses, but this time because there's so much, I haven't had time to finish through everything yet. Okay, I'm putting in the um the the tomatoes and the celery. All right. Oh, this is gonna be like super full already. <laughs> I'm sure I can press them in. I'm wondering whether I'm supposed to mix it. It doesn't say mix. Uh, finely chop, place all together in a small square casserole bowl. Oh, oh wait, later because I think there is a, um, oh, okay, because we're supposed to make the, uh, um, the gravy and then we mix. Okay, so I don't, well, I want to mix it now because my thing is quite small. I'm wondering whether I should have chopped my um, my tomatoes smaller. But it didn't say whether it was small dice or medium dice or large dice. It just said dice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm always wishing that that recipes are very more much more specific, so I can understand. <sighs> anyway. Hello! Hello, Molly Lim. Nice to see you. We are making um, raw vegan shepherd's pie. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now it says blend remaining tomatoes. Okay, so I have remaining tomatoes. It says blend remaining tomatoes. Yeah, I wish you would just say like place tomatoes, celery, blah, blah, blah into blender and blend is so much easier because it says blend remaining tomatoes with the sun-dried tomatoes so we'll put in the sun-dried tomatoes and then olives okay olives be sure to pit so if it just says olives pitted yeah then in in the recipe then it'll be really easy sometimes i rewrite people's recipes because it's a bit confusing for my brain um Part of the green onions. Okay, I, I don't have green onions. I'm not using green onions. And the rest of the celery. Okay, so and the rest of the celery. So 
So that's the rest of the celery. I blend until smooth and creamy. All right. This is a thermal mix and not the Vitamix. So it won't be smooth and creamy. But... Um, but we'll blend it anyway. Okay. like a um a really nice shepherd's pie sauce mm. Mm. oh it tastes great mm. yum, 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 yum. add the mushroom and walnuts to the blender and pulse very slowly to retain a crumble um add the mushrooms and walnuts okay okay <laughs> Maybe I should have chopped the mushrooms, but let's hope that this thermal mix will be able to handle it. If not, I might have to, you know. Um, okay, let's just scrape it out from here. Yeah. So have you guys made shepherd's pie before? Like raw vegan shepherd's pie. If anybody has made raw vegan shepherd's pie, um put a uh, comment or if you haven't made it put a comment as well okay it says pulse very slow so let's see if we managed to pulse very slow Okay, I think we have a crumble. <laughs> or maybe we have an over, over processed one. Anyway. Alright, so it says pour tomato gravy over chopped and diced uh, cauliflower mush. Pour tomato gravy at. Why does it say pour over the chopped or diced tomato, cauliflower, mushroom, and walnut stir well? Okay, I am confused by this part, but we're just going to put it in anyway. <sighs> There's a lot. I'm wondering whether I put, should put it into two dishes. You know what? I'm going to put it into two containers. That makes... Yeah, let's do that. Because he did not see how big the square casserole dish was. Chris, if you could write... <laughs> the size of the casserole dish that'd be really cool okay i'm gonna use like okay so this one i do need to mix it all up first yeah i mean i was looking at the recipe and i suppose i could gauge but i think for like newbies people wouldn't know yeah so what I really like about Chris's recipes, number one, they don't have too many ingredients. And then number two, he puts all the grams. So I know exactly how much to weigh out. So that's where I like it. Actually, number three, it's actually very yummy as well. I've tried many of his recipes. His pizza recipes, his um, uh, his the ones from his other meal plan as well. I made pizza. What else have I made? Um, his salad. Oh, yeah, I think yesterday I did his salad, actually. Oh, yesterday I did his stew. Evo Dilly stew. So, you guys should check out that. Um, I think it's on my YouTube. And I believe I've put it up on my Facebook. The original recipe was on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to wear my gloves. Mm, hold on, let me... Do I need to wear my gloves? Eesh, eesh. I think no need lah. Oh, okay. Alright. Hello, 
Sunita. Uh, Molly says no, heaven. Okay, so you can watch this and see if it's something you want to make. The tomato gravy is smelling really good and it smells like shepherd's pie. Right, okay, so this is better. Ding, ding, ding. All right. So remember this tomato gravy thing? I'm gonna put like half of it on top here and half on it top here. Oh, I'm supposed to stir well though. Pour the tomato gravy over the chopped diced tomato, cauliflower, mushroom and walnut stir well. Okay. So I still need to stir well. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Alright. Okay, um, you know what else is really interesting in the plant-based bundle? There is a recipe book for by Veggie and on on Vietnamese food. Plant-based Vietnamese food. You know, I like my Asian food. Um, and there's also one. Oh, I am going to be going live with the author of that Vietnamese plant-based Vietnamese ebook. Uh, I think next week, Sunday. I need, well, stay tuned. I will, will put it in my e-newsletter. So if you guys want to subscribe to my e-newsletter, you can do that. Um, if Mr. Mr. Jazz guitarist can actually, you know, uh, post the link to my free e-newsletter, you can do that. So you know when the lives are going on. Um, Today, I am today at 7.30 Malaysian time. I'm going live with Damien, who is also releasing his ebook in the bundle called Eat Real. And um, yeah, and oh, I was talking about what I liked about the bundle, right? Um, there's this Filipino ebook as well, and it's by a chef. Um, and it's plant-based, so I want to check that one out. But that one is cooked, so I don't know. And I need to see if I have the ingredients. Oh, I should message the chef actually to say hi. I haven't messaged her yet. I do find the, the fonts a bit hard to read though. Um, so sometimes, sometimes I find it like, <laughs> I don't make recipes from a book because the, the fonts are so hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you're creating an ebook, we yeah, just be mindful about all these things like you know, fonts, formatting, language, <laughs> language instructions, and all that. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. I mean, like, I've been making my ebook since 20 huh? since when 2017, so I've learned a lot. I look back at some of my old ones, I'm like, oh, so many. Um, can make so many more improvements but i'm not going to i'm just going to tell people how to improve it ha 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 <laughs> okay this is fun i haven't gone like i feel like i haven't been doing that many lives that much oh you know why because i was like secretly making <laughs> or not so secretly trying out the recipes before the bundle was done i will upload i need to edit and then i will upload the the videos on it okay you know what um hmm hmm oh hold on i've got delivery i think and there's a link oh Uh, 
Sorry guys, apparently there's supposed to be a delivery, but I don't remember ordering anything at all. Unless uh, my blue tea wants to send me the laksa paste that I still haven't received yet. But anyway, we'll see, we'll check. Yeah. Did I order anything? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm supposed to mix it well. And then... Hello, Xiao Yi Juan. We are making raw vegan shepherd's pie. So I have... Making the gravy. Um, I obviously process the mushrooms a bit too much so don't be like me <laughs> ah, ah. but you know what i think this is gonna taste amazing so it doesn't matter too much let me take a bite mmm mmm this tastes like shepherd's pie. Oh, you know why? I think it's the olives. And the sun dried tomatoes. Alright. Okay. Um, now, break up the cauliflower and place in blender or food processor. Okay. So that's the thing. I need to rinse this first, I think. Because if not, my cauliflower would be red. Or does it really matter? If it doesn't matter, then it's okay. Oh, let me quickly rinse it. I guess delivery is not coming because I don't hear anything. <laughs> um, I hope the doorbell works because sometimes it doesn't. Oh, hold on. Guys, he they keep insisting that there's someone handling fruit, but I don't know. Hmm. So I mean need to go out for a bit. Not about that, but just wait for my delivery. So um you know what? In the meantime in the meantime, you should just um, <laughs> just browse this and see if it's um, something that you want to get. I mean, it's an astonishing bundle, you know. It, look, there's so much stuff. Yeah. So browse this and then if you have any questions, let me know. The link is in the, um, the, link is in the comments to browse this as well. Yeah, maybe Mr. Jazz guitarist can tell a joke or two <laughs> while I'm away.
Hi guys. Okay, so um, yeah, that was my fruit delivery. I thought my fruit delivery is coming at twelve or something or eleven thirty. But anyway, uh, let me just wash my hands. Okay, guys, I am back. Hello, back. Did Mr. Just Guitarist tell you guys jokes? Hello, Louisa. Uh, no, he didn't tell you any jokes. Why not? Hmm. Okay. I am back. Uh, we should ask Mr. Just Guitarist to tell you the joke about I am Utan. And he, 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 he. Okay, back to the shepherd's pie. All right, so let me see what else it says. Um, break up the cauliflower and place in blender or food processor with lemon juice, hemp seeds, as well as... You know when he say break up the cauliflower, I was like, break up the cauliflower? And then I realized like, oh, he meant like, you know, I guess, I think, I think what um, he meant was like, you know, Okay, so this is here, right? So this is cauliflower, so break it, right? <laughs> when I first read it, I was like, break up the cauliflower? I was so confused. But anyway, i just... Ah! I hit the thing. Oh, man. Okay, I shouldn't make fun of people's recipe ratings. I'm not making fun, I'm just like, this is very confusing for me. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, 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 there's a bilingual joke. <laughs> okay, here we go. And here we go. And alright. Okay. Place in banner food processor with lemon juice. So oh I know why should I put it this way? Then I can move this here. You guys can see lemon juice. <sighs> so he's asking for half a lemon. Okay. Juice of half a lemon, actually. Yeah, it just says half a lemon, but it doesn't say juice. Then in the instructions, then it says lemon juice. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put like one tablespoon of this lemon limau kasturi juice from what? Because this is very, very concentrated. So, yeah. Alright, and then, and then we'll see if we need more. We'll taste it. Uh, b -b 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 no. Okay, hemp seeds. Seats going in. Um, yeah, uh, as well as the bottom white end of the remaining green onion. So I'm not putting green onions. Blend till desired consistency, be it smooth or slightly lumpy. So blend. Ah! Alright. No, I just said ah because this doesn't blend very well. Okay. the remaining green onion stems and mix into the mashed potatoes. So this is supposed to be mashed potatoes. Yeah. Alright. I hope my tummy doesn't feel so like... It's just that if I eat 
too much cauliflower my tummy doesn't feel very well usually but we are putting this into the dehydrator so hopefully it will do well so i've wiped the table and everything so everything's clean all right let's um let's move it around so it's easier to see. Zoom, zoom in a bit. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. Did I zoom too far in? No, no right? Okay, right? I think okay. Right? Oh, why well, that better? All right. So pour cauliflower mesh over base layer and smooth it out okay ah he's doing this with um hemp hearts this time i think last time he used what did he use he used something else in the other the, the other video was it sesame seeds maybe it was sesame seeds okay so this is your cauliflower mesh I'm so interested to see what it tastes like. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The lemon makes it nice. Or the lime. In this case. Done. Lime, lime. So I'm just going to scrape this down. Um, ooh. The other ebook that I really like in the bundle is the winter warming ebook i make like four recipes from there already i did a whole dinner so I served the whole dinner from that ebook um yeah that one i made the winter warming smoothie i made the um chickenless pot pie oh wow doesn't it look like mashed potatoes oh <laughs> it does doesn't it Yeah, Chris is a genius when it comes to raw vegan recipes. He's very, very, very good at it. I think I'm going to make one more recipe. I know he has a blue celery too thing as well. And um, because that one looks so simple and I think on... On certain days, I'm going to be super busy because I am making um, dishes for Thanksgiving. So, so yeah, I'm just going to like try out his lunch recipes, which are like four ingredients or something like that. So great. Four ingredient recipes. I think there's a dessert ebook in the bundle that is like a eight ingredient dessert book. Yeah. Oh, do you guys know Cheap Lazy Vegan? I've been following her for for a long time, and she has her No More Cabbage Soup ebook in there. And oh, you know what? I want to try one of her recipes. Um. Okay, so we cover this. Oh, I should use the spatula for this. Oh, never mind. Let me just kind of like. His picture looks so creamy. Mine doesn't look that creamy. Look, this picture. That's the picture. Yeah, this picture. It looks super creamy. Mine's not. Hmm. Maybe he mashed it up a lot. I mean, not a lot. I mean, I don't know. Hmm. 
ask Chris like, can you watch this and answer all my questions? Ah. <laughs> be like, why are you so demanding? We are so entitled. <laughs> Yeah, because I do have like a, I do have a square pen, but now I remember, I do have a square pen. It's not casserole, it's like a, a baking pan, yeah. Uh, smooth it out, okay, smooth it out. Jong, 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 jong. It's my first time making this, you guys. Okay, so this part is like not chanted. Mmm, it's yummy. You know what? I'm gonna do a taste test. Yeah, because, okay, so it says it's optional to place in a dehydrator for two hours to warm and slightly crisp the top. Otherwise, it's ready to serve. Yeah, check it out, guys. Raw vegan shepherd's pie. And this dirty tastes like. The shepherd's pie stuff, yeah. Okay, let me let me bring you guys back here. Flippy flip flip. Flippy flip flip. I'm gonna do a taste test. Change change change. Thanks guys for watching this. Let's do a taste test. I'm wondering like which is the... I want to like... Are they both pretty? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, anyway. I think we'll do a taste test with this one. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. Did I mix it up properly? I think I didn't. Yeah, I didn't mix it up properly. Oh no, I think the sauce is going in. Wait. Maybe I didn't mix it up properly. Doesn't matter. Because it's all gonna go in anyway. So yeah, let's try some. Like we get the whole layer. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. I said, you need to try this. It'll be like, yep, a shepherd's pie. Mmm. Mmm. I told you guys, Chris is a genius when it comes to raw vegan recipe. Okay, thank you Chris for letting me try this out um, on my live. Yeah, I asked him if it's okay. He's like, yeah, sure. Uh, no, I think, I think he said, I think he said he'll be on it. I don't know, he's really nice. He's such a sweet guy. Like, yeah, really, really sweet and really kind. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Did someone say something? So. Do you guys, uh, let me see, I can't see, super, super convincing mesh, it does look creamy, ooh, Li Shin is watching, okay, so does anybody have any questions about the bundle or this recipe? Um, if not, I'm gonna go now, well, I'll take a sip of water, because sometimes there's a lag, right, so, take a sip of my lemon tea. Nope. Um, yeah. So yeah, plant-based bundles um, only available until 9th of, no, 9th of November, 28th November. I don't know what time period. Is it like EST or PST or something like that? But anyway, it's only until um, 28th of November. Click the link in my, um, use my unique link, click the link in my bio or the link in my description or the link in the comments to get it if it's something you, you are interested in or just go and check it out. If you use my link, I will um, give you extra bonuses as well. Just remember to email me your order number because when you guys buy it, I, it just says, you have, you know, you've sold the bundle. It doesn't say who bought it and so you need to email me. That's why. Um, I will be doing daily, uh, as many lives, as many demos as I can, as physically possible. No, I'm just going to limit myself to two lives a day. I think, yeah, just for my sanity and my energy levels. But um, yeah, I'll upload them all on YouTube so you can check them out as well. Oh, oh, actually, if you have a request, 
Um, if there's any specific recipe that you want me to make in the bundle, let me know now, today, because tonight I'm ordering ingredients already. So if there's a specific recipe you'd like to see, then I can order ingredients and make it for you. Okay? Alright, I'll see you guys another time. Thanks for watching. Remember, animals are our friends, not food. Go vegan, get the plant-based bundle. Bye!